Hello my friends, what's the opposite of a tsunami? A microwave. Automatic 11.11 has released version 1.6, which means fully support for SDXL and the refiner. So let's uh, check that out and you can finally be able to use SDXL in Automatic 11.11. Well, I mean, you could use it previously, but not with the refiner. And that's kind of the whole point, isn't it? Let's get to it. AI. So here we have a portrait of a Viking warrior made in automatic 1111 with SDX. So I used cinematic still of a Viking warrior. I used my default negative and realistic photo portraits. And then I'm using Juggernaut. Actually, version two is out now. So that's uh, go check that out. And here you can see the refiner here. You press this, you can load the SDXL refiner if you have that in your models folder. And then you have here switch at where you want it to switch. So here it's at 80%. So at 80% of my sampling steps 35, it will switch to the refiner and finish this image. Let me render something else. Cinematic still of a film noir detective woman. And this will be a uh, Photo portraits as I'm running that style. Those styles can always be found in the links below. I might um, be updating those for SDXL very soon. And uh, if you're subscribing to my Patreon, you'll be the first to get them once they're out. And here we have the final image of this woman. And here's how you update if you already have it installed. So go into your Stable Fusion web UI folder. If you don't have it installed, check my previous install guide video up in the right corner. Once you are in the folder, press up here, type CMD. Then you're going to get this window and type git space pull enter. And that will get you the latest release. Since I've already done this, I get already up to date. All right, so let's check what's more is new from the GitHub. So the main feature, obviously, refiner support. So that's fully supporting SDXL. Now, here's a cool little feature, high risk fix, add an option to use a different checkpoint for second pass. So you could be starting one checkpoint and then continuing to finish the image with another, like some of the users have been doing with Comfy UI. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So there's a whole list of new samplers. There's the restart, DPM++ has a lot of new ones, the SD Exponential, a whole bunch of DPM++ ones. And what's new is some of these 3M ones. You got some quality of life stuff, just using less RAM and creating models. You can select a specific VAE for each checkpoint. So you don't have to um, load that every time. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and here's a pretty big thing. If you are using 1.5 and it runs well for you, but for SDXL only, you feel that your GPU isn't handling it. Then you can actually add the dash dash med VRAM dash SDXL tag. So that will enable med VRAM, but only for SDXL models or checkpoints. So that's pretty neat. And you would add that into your web UI user file. So just open that in notepad. And then for set command line args, you would add any arguments here. So here's a couple of old ones I have. So I'm using the med VRAM, you could use med VRAM dash SDXL, if that's something you would need. But the main feature is the support for SDXL and the refiner. So get out there and create. And uh, if you want to share your art, join in my discord and uh, well, compete in our challenges and share your art. As always, have a good one. See ya.